And um, yeah, I was just saying, so I was like, should I, you, you told me that you were going to Guitar Center to get a microphone. And I was like, well, I guess I should use like a headset or something, <laughs> but I put it on. I was like, I literally look like I work at like a call center or something. I, was like, I, think, I think this is fine. Um, how's it going? I'm good. I'm kind of enjoying the rain today. I got caught in it a little bit, but I'm good. I got my juice. How you doing? I'm good. I got my cat tea. Oh, I love that. What kind of tea? It's a uh, ginger peach tea. Yeah. Sounds it's, great. It's a fancy tea. Um, maybe we, I guess we should introduce ourselves uh, for anybody watching or whatever. <laughs> my name is Josh and uh, I directed the Valentine video and you and you are? I'm Lindsay. Um, I'm in the Valentine video. <laughs> Amongst other things. Amongst other things. <laughs> I'm an I mean, extra on the Valentine video at most. <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, well, yeah, so I don't know. I mean, I guess like, is there anything, is there anything to get into before we just like watch it and talk about stuff? Is there anything that, any thoughts that you had on it, I guess to preface to people? Yeah, I mean, might as well, might as well do the old things in the form of like a slideshow, a couple like imagery things, a couple like stylistic things and like a general vibe. And I was going through treatments from different directors and Josh's was like really special and we clicked really hard on Zoom and then we clicked really hard in real life and I think we made something sick. I think we made something like exactly how better than I imagined, but it's like, to me, I'm like, this is perfect. Yeah, I mean, so what is it, I guess, you know, because you, I, like, you know, when I came into the process, like I had no idea that you were already looking for other people. Like, I mean, I, I would assume that you were, but, you know, I, I came in, I think like fairly late in the process. And so like, what was it that was it just the writing of the treatment or was it the vibe in the Zoom or was it like a combination of both? I think it was both. I was definitely checking for vibes in all the, I, I took a, quite a few interviews and there was quite a few treatments actually. Um, and a lot of them were really cool. A lot of people were cool, but I was like, there was, there were a couple points in my original little like mini treatment thing that I kind of felt like were being missed like by people like vibes ideas like general feelings and like kind of like some of the motifs we used like i don't know the chocolate cake like like what that means in, in your version of it or it meant in like someone else's based on like just the picture that i put like i was like oh he like gets it which was the first zoom i was also like i i thought i thought i caught a, a good vibe and i also was like just listening to you talk about it i was very much like he definitely gets it and i think we have like a good rapport and just like a general like willingness to like work together you know because you never know you never know i feel like people are you know i don't know uh and and, and the writing the writing i really like your writing there's a couple little moments in the like screenplay thing that i was like this is genius well yeah i mean which is interesting i mean so a lot of music video treatments uh, tend to be like a uh, like a deck, right? Like with a bunch of pictures and and then like you know sparse words or whatever throughout. And for this one, I and I do this sometimes, but like I wrote it in like screenplay format, which was kind of came from your initial thing that you sent out, which had it had a film quality to it, it had a story quality to it, and even. Though it was, like you said, just a bunch of kind of like uh, the way I described it, it's like a shotgun blast of ideas, like just like all over the place. I still picked up on this idea that like this feels like a story and it feels like something that um, should be. I mean, I don't know if this is interesting, but like it, I just felt like it should be formatted in a way that, that they kind of represented that. And then like obviously, you know, you got like a ton of pictures and like I made a 95 page production book for it. So there yeah. was. It wasn't like there was it like yeah, it, there was no like lack of information that I was sending you. But I thought I just felt like yeah, sometimes it's easier for me at least to convey those types of ideas just in that format. And like I felt like where we started vibing 
or maybe I don't know. And like I think it kind of shows through in the final project as well. Final product is that like uh, to me, there's like a balance between like the audacious elements of it or like kind of the elevated things that are going on. But at the end of the day, I think that there's like a sadness to it. And I think that there's like a longing to it. And I think that there's um, like a really relatable feeling that I think a lot of people go through. I mean, you know, obviously like they don't end up like stabbing somebody in the chest and making a blood geyser, but that feeling where um, whatever may be happening in a relationship or something like that, manifest itself in your head as being like, oh, I just want to like, <laughs> I just want to slit that person's throat. It's like, you're not going to do it. But like, sometimes you just are like, in that headspace where you just feel completely like outside of yourself. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I'm, I guess we could watch it. And Let's watch this thing. I'm going to make them pause it like right away, though. Because <laughs> <laughs> so. Let's go pause. Let's go yeah. be able to pause. Can we get a pause? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there it is. Right. Where no one can see us, honey. I mean, yeah, might as well just pause it right here. So, oh wait, pause. It ended up being the very last thing. And we had gone quite over on our day. I think we pushed around 16 hours and the crew was super gracious and the location managers and everything were super gracious to let us stay but we were we shot this entire scene in less than a half an hour and initially it had like a there was more to it like it was more of like a story like the rest of the video is and you know when you only have a half hour you just start kind of baking things down to their bare essentials but i'm actually really really happy with how it turned out i'm i don't know how do you how do you feel about it yeah you know i love the the beginning that's like one of my favorite parts um but, but yeah, it was it was funny. It was late in the night at this point, and uh, like I was already covered in goo and blood. Like it was like all in all my clothes, and like we had to go to a we went to a different building to wash it all off like quickly. And um, it was me and my stylist in this like cold shower, and she was like scrubbing me down with a, um with like an exfoliating glove, and she was like head under the water like quicker quicker and i was like, oh, like. <laughs> then like quick blow dry makeup like be, you know to make someone regal is not easy um so like yeah. full perfection With i was actually i was really really surprised because you guys finished getting ready like reset back to looking regal uh in less time than it took us to set everything up and you know, our fear when we realized that we had to shoot all of the blood stuff before this was like, like on one, one thing was like, we never got a definitive answer on whether or not the blood was going to stain your skin. It was kind of like, it shouldn't stain their skin, but right. like, it, and then like Scott, the guy who played the dandy before he left, like I saw him right before he left and he had showered and his face was like beat red still. And I was like, Oh no, dude, like we're, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna be so screwed like they're both gonna look like radishes but <laughs> radishes. <laughs> no yeah. but I, yeah like you guys you guys like pulled it together so quickly and I, I was really impressed and like just with like everybody at this point when you like I think when you have so little time to do the thing that you're trying to do like everybody just kind of like locks in and like our brains are totally fried but we're like like, I remember I was like with the cinematographer Drew and we were trying to like figure out the right way to break this scene apart because we couldn't do all the things that we initially planned. And like both of us, like we went off into the corner and both of us like confessed to each other. We were like, dude, my brain is nothing right now. Like I, I, I like, I can barely think. And I was like, shit, I was just about to say the same thing. <laughs> like, okay. Well, we're going to have to lean on each other and figure this out. And yeah, I was really, really concerned, you know, Cause we like what you're seeing right here is the like the maybe the last shot of the entire thing and i think we had gotten a little bit past midnight and i just like knew that we were gonna like we weren't gonna get out of there until like three in the morning or something because we have to pack out 
And I was like, I guess we're done. I think we're done. I think we got it. And then once we started editing, I was like, oh no, like this isn't going to work. And really quickly, like with our editor, Colleen, like it was just like reframing how we do it. Like, this isn't a, yeah, this isn't a story as much as it is like a feeling. It's like a collage. And it's just about like establishing that the two of you have this relationship. And I actually, I think I like it more the way that it is now. Uh, yeah, I love it. I love this yeah. first scene. All right, we, yeah, we could go on and keep playing it. Careful in that room. Those parasitic cameras, don't they stop stare at you? I love that. Me too. Can't look for a spoon. Oh, yeah, let's pause it really fast. <laughs> so. I just want to give a shout out to that extra right there that just twirled past you because, you know, so we had to film it like 2.5 times faster. So you could be sing, you know, so you're singing it super fast. Everybody's trying to dance faster. And she had to twirl in front of you, like on a cue as fast as she could. And like, <laughs> we just kind of like picked her at random. We're like, can you twirl? <laughs> she was like, yeah, I got it. And just like nailed it every single time. I was really concerned about that. I was like, I almost cut the twirl because I was like, this is just going to be too much. Like, we're going to call action. The song, you sound like a chipmunk. And like, she's just going to fall. But yeah. she, she nailed it every single time. Oh, yeah, go ahead and play it. Uh, yeah, let's pause it. <laughs> I honestly have something to say about like the next second. Something uh, heavy. Uh, wait, like the next shot or this shot right here? Like right here. Well, right, <laughs> I mean, a little after, but right here. Do you, you want to just, can we just inch the video forward? Can we inch it one second? Oh, wait. We went too far. We went too far. No, it's all right. Okay, well, here, pause it right there. Here. Uh, yeah, you go, Josh. No, no, no. I want to hear what you have to say. Well, actually, I'm realizing it's the next, it's the next, <laughs> the next. Well, I have something, I have something, here, wait, can we, is it possible to rewind it? I'm talking into the void, but if it's possible to go back to the shot right before, I, I have something about that that I think is kind of interesting. Um, maybe not, it might not be possible. Um, basically, like, that shot of you where you're saying the, um, like, the I was made for you line, I was talking with our editor uh, and she brought up something that I think is really interesting that like, I think that basically like that that shot's the most important shot in the entire video because, and it all has to do with you because it's like, if you think about it, the your performance and the way that you're delivering that line and the way that you're expressing it, like that tells you literally everything you need to know about what's going on. Like you didn't, if we didn't shoot anything beforehand and it was just you walking down there with two drinks and you see them sitting there and the way that you deliver that line and like the way that you acted that line, you would, you might not know who you're sad about. Like you might be like, Oh, she's into this guy. You know what I mean? But like, you would know that exactly what's happening. And I think that it's like really, really impressive that, especially because you're singing it 2.5 times faster. The <laughs> fact that you like emoted that I think is just like insanely impressive. Um, just but yeah, then, from uh, taking it from real life experience, just that. <laughs> and yeah, living, living life, <laughs> living life two point five times faster, but being mm. sad. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I wanted to say about this shot, though, in particular, is uh, I just wanted to shout out. I mean, I think we should shout out both of our Alexas, so Alexa Lanza and Alexa O'Neill. Um, Alexa Lanza did. Um, Lindsay's wardrobe and just like absolutely knocked it out of the park. And then Alexa O'Neill uh, did everybody else. And I mean, it's in crazy. It's 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 like kind of crazy how little of the wardrobe we see and how insanely period accurate it was. Like it's kind of mind boggling that she was able to wrangle that many people and just like get costumes on them as quickly as she was. But one thing in particular is <laughs> so. I really just want to shout out Scott's ring uh, because not only because it's insane that Lindsay uh, or sorry, not Lindsay, that Alexa wanted to put a ring on him, 
but it's the fact that he's like using it that just kills me like <laughs> he is he's he, using it yeah, yeah like, <laughs> it's like ridiculous to me like he's got that thing up in the air out for everybody to see it but it, like it just totally it basically for me it tells me everything i need to know about that dude right there <laughs> <laughs> it's like, totally yeah yeah um, anyway i would like, like to double shout out lonza that's my left arm that's oh for there. sure that's yeah. my Okay, I'm going to pause it here, actually. This is what I was talking about. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm getting, you know, like, during that scene, I'm getting, like, we had those two guys, like, actually saying flirty things in both of my ears. <laughs> and I'm bombing those ginger ales. Like, right, sitting so there, cool. like, and behind, and that was actually the same scene where I had to, like, turn around and watch myself get cucked. And, like, I was in the like emotional I put myself in the emotional moment and like there was a certain point after that that were like enough of the like the like flirting on both ends from the dudes <laughs> looking back and seeing that happening over and over and over again and just all the ginger ale in my bloodstream I, I had like a good 15 minutes in the like dre my dressing room where I was like am I gonna cry <laughs> I'm like am I gonna cry I was like upset I was like okay cool we're here we're here like <laughs> Anyway, yeah. I mean, I remember like, okay, so early, early on, you were like, you, you like took me aside, you're like, Josh, like, can I just get like a shot? And I was like, you mean like a, a real shot, like not a ginger ale shot? And you're like, no, I just need like a shot. And you're like, I think it'll like, it'll loosen me up. And I was like, uh, we don't have any here, but we like, we can work on it. And like, as we're filming, it's not the shot that we're pausing on right now, but like, you're basically sitting at the table and you're just like pounding these ginger ales. And like you're talking about like your blood sugar like you can feel yourself getting like jittery and we had like right in front of you just a, a stack of these glasses with the ginger ale and watered down watered down ginger ale so it doesn't look like soda which i mean i i i i had some solidarity with you and i tried a couple of them but not nearly as many <laughs> as you do um but i remember yeah like so we're filming that and then finally somebody comes and they bring i don't what what was it was it was a whiskey it was whiskey yeah right and so i took the whiskey and we put it in one of the glasses and then i just put it on the table and then we're doing a take and you grab it and like you couldn't tell at first and then it started to wash over you that this was not water watered down ginger ale and it was like that like shit eating grin came over your face yeah. and, like and then you just started like it wasn't like you weren't killing it before but it was like it was like we just put like some like nos in your engine yeah. just like turbo fuel i was so excited i was so excited i was like Woo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean yeah it was it was a thing it was a thing i was like during all the drunk scenes i wanted i wanted so bad to be like method actor and Oh, you know, my whole team was there and everybody was like, ah, 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 ah. So it had to be like, it had to be like discreet, um, which makes it even more fun. You know, like I was like, ooh. Yeah, well, then I started, it was like almost like some Pavlovian shit where, uh, I mean, it, I think you only had like maybe two or three drinks the entire day. But I remember like any time where it was a drinking scene, it was like, if you do really well, like you get a real one and like you don't get the watered down ginger ale and it's just like, I don't know. <laughs> and all of a sudden I was like, shall I compare thee to a summer's day? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Well, okay, I guess let's, let's continue on down the journey. band members Ray and Alex, my lifers. Um, I was like, if we don't get a music video with Ray and Alex in it, I think we can't we can't make a music video at all. So um, yeah, they were they were blown it's, away on those things. <laughs> it's insane to me that it's Al Alex is the basis, yeah. right? Right. Like it's insane to me that when we were putting them up there, yeah. and he was like, oh my god, yeah, go to like totally played it. <laughs> I'm like, <"Where?" laughs> yeah, too late. <laughs> Yeah, but they were great. They're actually in several little parts. They're in the part where you're bouncing. He's like my like best. He's like my brother. Like 
I love that man. Uh, and and as soon as I saw that they were going to be in the scene where I was like flopping around like a drunk like fool, uh, I was like, cool, I'm going to get to like <laughs> rough up Alex a little bit. My favorite thing to do. <laughs> My favorite hobby. Yeah, man. Yeah, they were great. I had a lot of fun with them. Um, shall we? Shall we move on? Yep. All right, pause, let's pause it. Let's pause it. Okay. Right. So this scene, uh, I have a little. I have a little anecdote about this. So this was. This is actually like the first take of the first your first shot right so this was the first thing that we shot with you was laying down in these swatches and i remember so we were already like day one just running behind and everything was you know it's just like it is what it is like everything is just going haywire and um yeah i remember so you did this take and it was like immediately like you just killed it and there was like no direction really it was just like me saying like you know i mean you knew what you had to do like lay down and sing at the camera but it was like some you never know what you're gonna get when you're doing a music video because it's like especially one like this where there's acting and performing even though they're like kind of two sides of the same coin um but like you know sometimes it's just like the singer uh, needs a little bit of encouragement or needs to uh, like open up a bit and like feel, you know, like have a couple takes before they actually start, you know, kind of like loosening up. But it was like literally the first take, you just like, bam, like completely nailed it. And I was like, oh, okay. Like that was like the first moment of calm that came over me where I was like, okay, no matter what happens, like she's on it. So this will, this will be okay. And I, my, hand. my, uh, my hat's off to you. Yeah, thank you, sir. Yeah, <laughs> I am a ham, little ham and cheese. I can't, um, I can't see you right now, but I just want you to know that I, I tipped, I tipped my cap. I did a little. I like, tipped back to you, sir. Uh, um, no, be you. I have a fair amount of anecdotes about this, and I don't honestly. I know you're gonna be bummed at me for saying this. No, um, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm like, I'm. You know how much I got. Honestly, I have to take my, my hat off to myself for the amount of preparation that it took. Okay, you're, I mean, go on. Speak I might as well. It. Speak through it. For like a minute. And we were like, ice hot, ice hot. Like calling, you know, her dentist, my dentist. I was like, what do we do? Like freaking out. Because it ended up, they were all impacted. It ended up taking like much longer than we had assumed. And honestly, the day before, it was two days of shooting. The second day, it was down more than the first day. But the day before was much worse. And we were like, I was like off my ass freaking out i was like what are we gonna do and i was i had moved on to the heat compress that was my new thing i was doing for days and then it turned out the ice kind of made like a world of difference <laughs> like in i don't know so it was like this like whole other element of stress going on um that we were also trying to like work around um and yeah i was pretty fat i would say i was fast unfashionably late on that first day <laughs> so people were like working miracles because i was before i can do any work <laughs> you definitely i mean like we had already established a relationship before you know getting on the set but you definitely showed up in the most like rock star fashion like you looked a little hungover you looked exhausted you had your coffee i think your hair was wet and you were just kind of like you had like you had your little like you know you had your little entourage with you kind of all just like rolling up to the set and i was like oh no like what's what's gonna happen what's this i think what's i have my sunglasses on honestly yeah. yeah and then it was yeah like like i said like take one you just like locked in and it was pretty yeah pretty impressive um, also i think like we we had a this scene having like a scene like shot like that on the ground like splayed out was like one of the original ideas that like came to fruition in kind of a beautiful way i'm really happy with that yeah i mean i can't remember because i know that you had referenced um i think it was probably was it the american beauty shot right like the the roses as like just as like a as like an inspiration and I, and there was another one was there another one yeah the uh the only the paramore only exception. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 
instead of doing, I mean, yeah, like it was just from writing it as a story, it was like, well, I mean, I guess like for people who don't know, like your character is supposed to be like a fashion designer. I mean, if you, and maybe you pick that up, maybe you don't, but so it's like you're laying in swatches instead of roses. And it, this is, this is like a little dream, a little dream sequence. And it's actually probably one of my favorite parts of the whole video, just because I think the performance is so good and everything looks great. And you can't tell that you got your wisdom teeth taken out at all. Thanks, Josh. You know, I was honestly just, I was like, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. And then it was like, it was like a mosquito bite itching. I was like, I ain't going to say it. I'm going to freaking say it. I felt like I, I, I was like, is she going to bring it up? Because then will people now be like, you know, like downloading the video and going frame by frame to see if they can tell. But honestly, I let them. Yeah, let them. Let them. Oh. That's like get into like, like in like three months there'll be like some like 17 18 minute long youtube videos like trying to unpack like where you know like they can tell when we shot certain scenes based on <laughs> based on your wisdom teeth i'd be psyched if if, if someone had that kind of like <laughs> <laughs> like level of it like <laughs> sleuth yeah. interest like i'd actually be psyched <laughs> they're gonna like start connecting you to the illuminati they're gonna be like you can tell like her cheek and her two cheeks and her forehead make a triangle. Which is the <laughs> it's the eye of Horus. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. I'll, I'm probably going to pause it in a second because we got to talk about Carlo. But oh, the fun let's, man. Let's just play it. All right, pause it. <laughs> oh man, we missed him. Um, yeah, so that that gentleman is Carlo, um, and uh, I just want to give a shout out to Carlo for being awesome. But also, so it's written in the script that he's trying to give you mouth to mouth resuscitation. Like the idea is that you've collapsed onto the ground from binge drinking and all of these weird old men are around you just kind of like gawking at you and he's trying to like revive you but i feel like it just looks like he's trying to kiss you <laughs> yeah. which is like strange but i guess like kind of works maybe i don't know it like i'm, I'm okay i'm okay with like it just being a little weird moment but if anybody wants to know the context it's supposed to be that he's giving you mouth to mouth like the movie the sandlot Yes. I just would like to, you know, just back it up. I would like to back up the Carlo shout out. I like that guy. He's, yeah, for, he's cool. he did a great job and he's awesome. I had a really nice time chatting with him. I was like, this dude is like, he's he's killing this, and he's also just like he was a great team player and a boss. I really I really liked the Sea Man. <laughs> the Sea Man. <laughs> Spent yeah, a lot of you, time with the Sea Man. And then you sent me a video the other day. Tell me about, tell, tell, tell the viewers about the video that you found. Or yeah, that video okay, so to you? how, no, it wasn't, how wild is this? So I, um, Tom, I don't have any socials, so I just, and I watched this one video of this guy, like it just came up, like recommended, of this guy, like drawing people on the subway. And one of them was Carlo. I was like, nope, that's literally, my, the, that's the seaman. I was like, I sent it to Josh and I was like, could this be? Carlo and yeah. it just it just was he takes you know there's a moment where you can like actually see his whole face like without the mask and it, it's like it's it's so yeah. weird because the guy's drawing so many different people and there's just one moment where it's like oh yeah. oh dude that's Carlo I uh, what a what a serendipitous coincidence I know it's like we were saying like Carlo's about to have a moment because he's got the train video and then this is going to come out and then we're going to see him on like the new season of like Succession or something like that is like a main character. And it's just gonna be like one, two, three, like to the moon. I'd love that. He's got chops. <laughs> I'd love to see him around. <laughs> totally. All right. Yeah. Let's 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 continue on.
All right, pause it. <laughs> Carlo. Where's Carlo? <laughs> We're like a little late. I feel like I'm a little, I should be like saying pause before, like five seconds before it pauses. But uh, so I guess we should just talk about the the blood part. We should talk about the blood guys there. There's probably quite a bit. Chance, because it was going to ruin the beautiful clothes. Um, and I watched, you know, there was like a, a person on the, like a, like a young guy on the set, like a little guy who was like, how, how, who was, who was that? That was, that was, that was Liam. Liam, this guy, Liam was like, um, he tested it out right with water and he had like a little rain jacket with the hood on this. <laughs> he like, he like led the way. Cause I, I didn't have to be scared of the pressure. I was originally, cause I thought it was going to like, we were like originally being like, we need to pack up and like, we need to, like, yeah, like yeah. find me and like, I've been watching him do he was brave. He went and did it with the with the water as a test and got, reported back to me and was like, it's chill. You know, it's just a little it you know, it was massive, but it wasn't like it wouldn't have like caused bruising or anything. So so by the time I by the time I was in for it, like I was I wasn't so much scared as I was like, Okay, cool, let's see if I can like do this in one take and it was really exciting and like victorious. Like everybody was watching from the balcony. And it was cool. I don't know. That was one of my favorite parts of the whole thing. Yeah, it was kind of you know, everything that we shoot after for that is basically blood stuff. We had two outfits, like we had two copies of each outfit, but we had to shoot things clean so we couldn't destroy both of them. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, like, if you're looking at that wide shot where she pulls the knife out, um, basically, we have like a, a whole chest rig hooked up to scott and then there's like a tube coming out of his leg that i had to remove i had to remove all of the tubes in the rig and after effects and um yeah it, it was definitely the most stressful part on my end i'm glad that you <laughs> i'm glad that you had fun with it but it was very much like we we're on some michael bay like you're we're gonna do an explosion so you gotta put as many cameras as you can on it because you only get one shot and uh i think it turned out really well um like, so what you were talking about with like the pressure though, uh, yeah, like when, cause the original, like the way that I wrote it was that it was supposed to be like an ungodly amount of blood. Like just <laughs> like, I, like we called it the blood geyser. Like I, and the way that I referenced it, like to people working on the set was basically that I wanted it to be like, uh, yeah, like an Icelandic geyser or like, you know, the explosion of Mount, Mount St. Helens, just like a massive, you know a massive explosion of blood and as we were getting ready to shoot it the uh <laughs> our, our our special effects girl uh izzy and our production designer uh ben started talking to me about like the water pressure like the pressure of the hoses and they were like well in order to do what you're saying like the psi will have to be like over 200 like over 200 psi so like if her face is anywhere near it, it'll be like a shotgun blast. Like, it'll just be like, it'll be like a fire hose, just like blasting her in the face. So we were like, oh no, we need to tone it down. And like, we can't, we can't like, like how insane would it be if we do this shot and it like kills her? <laughs> <laughs> the triumphant return of snail mail is also the triumphant end of snail mail. I mean, like, that's like a thing though, right? Like that would be like a terrible story. It's like, and then it's like, do you put the video out? Like, cause now it's like- Yeah, yeah, you, come on. It's like a smut film now. Like they kill me for nothing. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. We have to like do all of these uh, uh, in memoriams about how like you died for your office <laughs> and stuff like that. But like, yes. <laughs> Let me hold on. If you didn't put that out, my my ghost would be in your apartment like all the time, like messing with things. Like, come on, don't don't kill me in vain. I would be. There, isn't there? Isn't there like some rapper who recently like was revealed that they like got a tattoo that said something like, "When I die, don't put any post like posthumous albums out or, or something like that." Like, basically, like don't put any more music out after I die. Whoa. Yeah, I can't That's remember cool. the exact wording, and I can't even remember who it is. So it's a terrible story, but I just read something <laughs> about that a little while ago. But yeah, no, I'm glad that like because initially it was like okay you're going to like stab down and then you're going to lift that knife up and you have to like shoot yourself backwards. So you don't get hit in the face with this. Right. And then when we tested it with Liam, Liam was like, no, it's totally fine. It's like not a big deal at all. So I'm glad that we didn't kill you is all I'm saying. And we've been staring at Carlo for so long. 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's. I guess let's go continue on. Oh, weird. So let's talk about the neck. Right. So like the neck slicing thing. Uh, that was crazy because we had this whole dancing scene planned out, but I guess we just weren't, I maybe it was just like not everybody was on the same page or it was just kind of like, this is just the only way to do this. But like, you know, Barbara, who plays your love interest in it, she had like a giant tube running down her back. So it's like, well, we can't do dancing. You know what I mean? Like we can't dance around the room. She's literally tethered to this tube that's like spurting blood everywhere. So then we had to like quickly kind of change the way we did it. And also, uh, well, I mean, there's probably a million things to talk about with the dancing. So let's talk about how that was dancing because it was kind of insane to watch it. Talk about those. Talk about those lyrics. This one was hard. It was hard. Barbara is tall. Um, right. <laughs> I would also like to take my hat off to her for being a great actress, uh, but very tall. Uh, and so that was like an initial thing that when we were casting it and we were like talking about it, we were like. I'm very short. Like, I mean, I'm what, what, five two. Barbara was maybe like five. What do you think? I think she's seven. five seven. Five six, five, five seven. Five seven. Yeah. Um, so I was in five inch heels and there was blood everywhere. <laughs> we couldn't ruin the heels because we borrowed them. And uh, Barbara had this thing connected to her neck. She was like leaning on me under full weight. And I was, there was a moment where my ankle did a little ink. And I was like, oh, cool. This is going to be the end of my ankle. Yeah. Because um, well, she also had, it was also the dress, <laughs> like the dress that she was wearing. It was like yeah. so flowy and billowy at the bottom that like she was tripping over it. So it's like you're in five inch heels. She's tripping over the dress and has a thing coming out of her neck. Yeah. The, the old five inch, the five inch Gucci's that we could not break. You know what I mean? And I was like, it was very much like then Alexis on the side, like, don't don't mess those up, don't mess those up. And I was like, yeah, Barbara. don't uh, get blood on the beach. <laughs> holding Barbara with my full weight and just like, not that she was heavy, you know. <laughs> no, well, I mean, all around in the blood. And I was like, yo, this is like, a mess. At first, you know, like when we did the first couple takes, she was really putting her full weight onto you, you know, because it's like her neck just got slashed open and yeah. she's in character, she's dying. But then, like, after like two or three, I was like, okay, like, I think it was actually when, because I think I, I remember the take that you're talking about where it was like your 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 ankle like buckled and it was like, oh, they're going to collapse. Yeah. And at that point, I was like, okay, wait, we have to like, let's just tone down the dancing just a little bit so we don't have you guys break breaking your legs or whatever. But or whatever. Or, <laughs> yeah, or whatever. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is like another one of those scenes, like this whole section from here basically until the end was the last thing that we shot before we shot the beginning of the video. So like all of this blood stuff. And again, we were running really behind and we had to start cutting little things out of the video. Just like there was like little story things that were supposed to be in there, but like, no, I wouldn't even call it story, just like stylistic things, uh, different shots that we were gonna use and we were gonna approach it a little bit differently. But, you know, it's like one, when you're running two hours behind or and counting, it's like you have to start just making changes. And yeah, like I just I, I like I didn't realize like how much the blood was going to become like a factor and not just like slowing us down, but like it's just a thing that you have to be aware of the whole time. Because like I like I didn't think about the fact that like you remember like how cold you got after a couple of takes and like we had to go get you a blanket because because you're, yeah. you know, you're covered yeah. in blood. And so we had to like send somebody to get you a blanket. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was. Yeah, it was full shivering I was like, <laughs> it, was, um, it was hectic but yeah uh i like on a personal level like i mean kind of even in the frame that we're on but into the the end of the video from here like i don't know if it's just like your natural vibe to just lock in that hard but uh, yeah like i think your performance is just pretty incredible and kind of goes back to Eve, this part versus the way that like I locked into it with you that like, I don't know. Do you know what I'm talking about? I do. Yeah. 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 I mean, so I, when I was talking about th this is like the, 
part we're about to come up on is maybe my favorite part, but this part is, I think like, like, you know, I've had to like talk about this video before we even made it in like a, in like a couple like professional contexts, as well as like when we were trying to get it made, um, just like running my mouth about like, hey, I'm dancing with her body. Like I was really excited about it. Cause I like, when Josh and I locked on this scene, I was like, oh, we were both like, wow, like obviously that's horrifying, but the, but more so it's so sad. Like it has like, a, oh. it's like horrifyingly sad. And and all the like, a lot of the people like, who like I had to, you know, kind of like pitch it to in a way were like, yo, like Lindsay, take the smile off your face while you're talking about like dancing with a dead body, like very much. And I was like, no, no, it's like cinematic masterpiece. It's emotional and sad. It's like a snail mail, like it works, you know? And like, it was, I was met with a lot of like, like wide eye, like what? And, and and Josh and I were both very much keyed into the same like, why is that so beautiful and sad? Like, forget the fact that it's gross and scary. That's like, you know, that's like obvious. But it's, I don't know, the emotion that whatever is going on, the like whatever's being evolved here, to me is like profound. I have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I think it's like. Um... It's not even that it's just sad. I think that like it puts a lot of what happened before in the video, like it kind of like reframes it. It like makes it like, I, it's just like a different context of like where your character is at at that point. Like, and I think that we locked in really hard on it because we did like the first three takes or so and we didn't use any of it because at first you were kind of playing it to the camera. Like you were singing this stuff, but you were still keeping an eye on the camera. Um, and it, it was after like three or four where I realized I was like, oh wait, like that feels like too sarcastic or kind of like too knowing, like too kind of like winking at the audience of like, like how nuts is this? And it wasn't until I, I think I just gave you the really, a really small note, which was basically just like sing to her. Like, this is a moment about like you and her and you immediately locked into it and like kind of like buried your, your face into her neck, like the crook of her neck and then performed it to her like as she's you know in, in the world of the video like she wouldn't be dead yet like we would you know i think it would take a couple minutes or something but i don't know why i know that uh <laughs> but yeah it's like you're singing you're singing to her in like the la in the last moments and i think that there's something really like heartbreaking about where you know like a, your character's headspace would be at you know because ostensibly you cutting sli slicing her Throw, it was like an accident right but like yeah. but you just run with it and i think that that's where like the strange element of it comes through that you're not like she doesn't like fall to the ground and you're not like over her body being like oh, i'm gonna i'm gonna save you it's like all you wanted was that moment with her like it to be about the two of you so it's like even if she's dying you're gonna have that moment yeah yeah actually and we did cut we cut something <laughs> we cut something that i was like i like it got the emotion that we used like you know, it's like, it's sad. We, we were messing with a, a, a couple different things. At one point I licked the blood off her neck. <laughs> kind of glad really that we didn't put that in there. It was really <laughs> intense. Just like pervy, like, there's no, you know, that's not the emotion. That's not yeah. what, that's not the emotion. But like, um, that's the thing though, is like, that's what's so fun sometimes about doing things like this, because like in the script and like, I think in all of our original conversations about it, like the scene definitely was not written to be uh, like this part was not written to be sad. Like the next part, right. after, but like, yeah, like initially it was like, we were like, yeah. And then like, maybe the blood, like her neck is just like shooting blood and it's like, you're bathing in that. And it was just like, we were just going further and further and further with it. But yeah, it was just like, once we were there on the set, like immediately it became clear that like, oh, this is much better if it feels like a moment between the two of you. Cause there's not that many moments where just the two of you are together. And I think that like, yeah, that just really comes through for me at least. And I, and I think, I think for like, yeah, people who have, who have seen it as well, like that's a, a thing that people have said, um, especially in the next part, which would, I don't know. Do you have anything else on this? I don't think so. All right, let's, let's roll. All right, we should pause it on the cake. All right, pause right there. Great. This is a great place to pause. <laughs>
there's oh, I'm glad we're getting that. I'm getting glad we're yeah, getting that little shot. Of. I mean, there's so much to talk about with this part. Like, I don't even know where I don't even know where to begin. I mean, like, obviously, like, so initially the plan was to shoot you in both locations, right? Like, like you sitting and then you dancing. And then I was going to composite the two, the two shots in and after effects. Uh, and that just became like a logistical nightmare because again, we have two versions of the wardrobe. One has blood on it. The other one doesn't. The, the, the second that you get blood on the one, like that outfit is done. So in order to do what we wanted to do, we would have either had to leave the camera there and not move it at all while we completely cleaned you up again and then shot you dancing. And our first AD, Ryan Rose, shout out to Ryan, was just like, there's absolutely no way that we can do this. Like it will take like three or four hours and we're already behind. And so in the spirit of doing things like practically, it was just like, oh, well, what if we just find somebody that is kind of your size? Like we have like 70 extras down there. What if we, what if one of them maybe just so happens to like be able to fit into your wardrobe? And we were lucky enough that, uh, her name is Erin Russo. Uh, she's actually in the video in multiple parts. She's like eating. She's one of the like aristocrat characters, just like gorging on food. But yeah, like she put the war, she put it on and then they put a wig on her and they bloodied it, bloodied the wig up. And it was crazy because, um, you know, you were still downstairs. They cut I think, the wig like, too, right? What's that? They cut the wig too, right? I think they did. Yeah, I think they yeah. did like really fast, just like a turnaround and like got her into the wardrobe got the, everything ready. And I remember we were waiting for you to come up because I think you were doing some last minute things with makeup. And uh, she came on set and like three or four people did this thing where like, when, for people who don't know, like when an actor comes on set, like certain times, like people will kind of announce that the actor is on the set, you know, which just kind of gets the crew locked in and ready. Like, okay, now the actor's here, we're ready to go. Like. And like, yeah, there was like that murmuring going on where it was like, okay, Lindsay's here, like, let's go. And it wasn't you, it was crazy. Cause it's just like, you see out of the corner of your eye, like she literally looked just like you. And I wish that we could have shown more of that in the video because you know, like right here, she's out of focus. But like, if we had played it longer, there are times where she's in focus and it's like, it's insane. Like, I mean, it was like, it spooked you out, didn't it? She, yeah, I mean, she, she deaf there. Once she was wardrobed up, she definitely, she did, she had some Lindsay stuff going on. It was, yeah, we, I, I was really impressed. I thought that that was like put together so quickly. I was very much like, how are we going to do that? And especially like, I didn't have my contacts in while I was dancing with uh, Barbara here. And I was like, so to, I'm, you know, I'm nearsighted. So I like kind of got like the creeps, like looking at, her looking at me, I was like, all right, <laughs> all right, that's enough, <laughs> you know? Yeah, and we also got her to eat the cake as well, which was great. So she she participated in the gorging. But yeah, I mean, it's one of my favorite, it's one of my favorite shots in the whole thing. No, I mean, I think you were saying like this whole section is is probably your favorite. I think it, it might be mine as well. Like this, this whole part is like, I've, you know, like when you're editing a video, you've already, I've already seen it, you know, 150 200 times but like every single time we get to this part mm. it's like i just get chills from it i think that it just this more than anything that we were talking about with the last section to me i think like again like you're you're like sitting there just like stuffing your face with cake but it it's something that like i think people see it and their first reaction is kind of to chuckle and then it like almost immediately becomes extremely bleak and really, really sad. Like, because it feels like you're self lacerating, like you're sitting there just like completely destroying yourself. And yeah, like, man, your performance in it, I'm sorry, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, you know, boost your ego anymore or whatever, but <laughs> really, <Anymore. laughs> I don't wanna feed, I don't wanna feed the beast, but yeah, it, you're, 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 so, you're so good in that part. Like, I think we only did like two or three takes and it was just like, man, like, <laughs> it, yeah, it's probably one of my favorite things I've ever shot. Just you sitting there eating cake, like it just, it's so haunting. Um, yeah, I mean, 
Uh, thank you. And also, I'll contribute to it by saying a lot of that cake actually did go into my stomach. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was pretty psyched. I have, cake is like, up to, like not to sound like a child, but cake <laughs> is like one of my like maybe top three favorite foods. So like a good amount of that I was psyched on. It got to a point where I was like, okay, enough. Like this, the blood has sugary quality to it too. So I was like kind of getting a little queasy, but I was psyched that I got to sit there and eat cake. There was some like wish fulfillment going on there that's like there needs to be cake. Like and um I don't know why, like while we were shooting that, the little devil on my shoulder was just like rub it on your face. <laughs> yeah, but it works so well. I just started rubbing it on my face. <laughs> it's crazy. Cause it's like it just doesn't feel it doesn't feel comical. Like and I think that it's a <laughs> weird balance, right? Like on its, you know, like on the surface, that just seems like bordering on slapstick comedy, but like everybody that sees it, I think it's like by the second time it goes back to that shot of you, like nobody's laughing. <laughs> like, uh -huh. like people are just kind of like locked in with that, that emotion that's there that I think, yeah, you're really selling it. Um, so hats off to you. Thank you. <laughs> I guess let's finish let's finish it out. Oh there it is. Yeah. Uh this right here. Like Oof. There you go. Woo! Yeah, that's it. Hats up to you, Josh. Come on. Hats up to you. No. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't Josh, accept that hat. Yeah. <laughs> no, I man. Not do, Josh. My hat is already off to be. I, that, yeah, it's like that whole part just like does not get old to me at all. It just completely, it just completely works. Not to like, not to be like sitting here back and forth, like complimenting each other, but I just think that like, <laughs> that's the thing is like you realize like, yeah, like sometimes you have to cut things, sometimes like scenes or shots or like you have to like work on the fly because you're running behind or like things just aren't working. But it's like, at the end of the day, like that, that's all that matters. Like right there, the last like 15, 20 seconds of the video are just like, it just hits so hard. I think that you, you just like completely nailed it. Mm. I have to say, I do feel like it, a lot of it for me, like being like a fulfilling, end product i've never like really been particularly interested in videos until now <laughs> and uh like it it i do feel like the the feeling that i'm trying to convey in the song is being conveyed in the visual which is just like i don't know i don't think that's actually as easy to do as it seems like it maybe would be because it's a, like a complex feeling going on there and like i remember how i felt while i was writing like writing it and i remember like the feeling like like channeling the exact feeling I wanted to convey, like the actual like hurt and everything, and it's there, you know. And it was it was it's strangely intimate, slow dancing with somebody, and then actually singing out loud to, so that it looks real. So I was you know right in Barbara's ear, like singing my own song, which was at first was kind of weird, and then he, like. I don't know. I was, yeah, I tell like, in a direction that just felt precisely like correct. Um, but it is weird. It's weird being that close to someone singing your own songs like softly, you know? Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> like, I'm I, sorry. I, yeah. there's, there's moments I think I hit like the consonants a little too hard, and I was like, I'm so, oh, sorry. <laughs> I was like, 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 so loud in her ears. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, yeah, I don't even know if I have anything else to say about that. It's just like, it just works. It works for me. And I think like we were talking about with like hitting the emotions or I guess like the tone visually with like the audio, right? Like the, with the song, it's so easy to either kind of like slide into like, I call them karaoke music videos where it's like, you're literally like, what are the lyrics? I'm going to like show blank doing, you know, like, there's there's a line about making eggs like let's have them make eggs here and like but then on the other end it's like really easy to kind of just like fall into this trap of not paying attention at all to what is going on in the song and 
yeah, I think that just like, honestly, a lot of it comes from you because to me, like that initial, the initial spark for those ideas came from what you wrote. Like, obviously like it's way different from the initial deck that you put together, but it's all there in that like, when I'm, you know, like it kind of reorients the way that you listen to the song because like when I'm sitting there trying to write it, because like, you know, if you had written like, yeah, like this is just going to be like a cool performance. Like, I don't know if I would have thought to incorporate those types of things immediately. Like you can hear the sadness in the song for sure. Like it's definitely there, but I think that you like, I just think that like, yeah, your initial, the, the, the initial ideas that you had, I think like the best thing that I could have done with it was to not lose those, which like, you know, there is, I guess like one more little story to tell as we dive in, but like, you know, so initially with the blood thing, like, I think that kind of like sums it all up was that like, when we were trying to figure out how we were going to shoot both of you in the same scene one idea you know we almost were sold on it was like okay well she'll just be clean in both of them like she's not gonna have have, bl have blood all over eating the cake so then we can just use the same outfit the same costume and and like that's that and i remember like i had been coming to you all, all day being like Lindsay, we have to cut this we have to cut this like and you were really like you know you were you you, you rolled with the punches but when I brought that up idea up to you at first, you were like, okay, well, if we have to do it, we have to do it. And then like immediately you were like, no, you're like, I don't, I think it, the words that you said were, I don't agree with that on a story. Like, like, I don't agree with that as like a story concept. Like it needs to be, it needs to be what we said it was. And like, that was such a important moment for me because, you know, as a director, you have a million things coming at you at once and it, 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 it was just like a thing where like all of a sudden for a split second, it was like all of the noise in, on the set went down and I like literally just heard what you were saying. And it was like, she's right. Like, no, we have to do this thing because it's important. Like, and it matters. And it's like little things like that. I guess what I'll say is that like, I really enjoy collaborating with you because of moments like that where it like matters, right? Like where you say something or I say something and it's like, all of the, the, you know, just like the commotion kind of dies down and you just like, you're like, oh yeah, we need to be on the same page. And like, I think we were. And I think that the video, um, you know, it's it's definitely my favorite thing I've done music video wise. And I, I think it's just because more than anything, I think it's just because, like I said, when we first talked on that Zoom, like some bands and some musicians don't want to collaborate. They just want to be like, here, go make a video. Like I'll be in it. Like, but what I said to you is like, like, let me know right now, like, if you want to collaborate on this together, because that's what I'm looking for. And I think you were looking for the same thing. So, and I think that shows, like, I think it comes through that both you and I were really in sync with it. For sure. Yeah, I just, yeah, well, I'm pretty, yeah. <laughs> no, I, 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 yeah, I, I second. I thought it was like, a, I think we have, I think we have similar ch thought channels. And I think that if, I loved collaborating, I thought it was awesome. and. Yeah, obviously, like, I think that you crushed this thing and, and we, we, you know, made something real special yeah. together. Come on. <laughs> you crushed Well. Come, well. <laughs> please. Please, well, ma'am, please. Well, hold on. Um, yeah, I'm glad I we got to do this. This is cool. Yeah. I had a, I'm, I'm like, damn, actually, we have a lot to say. I'm really Yeah, no, that's been... crazy. Yeah, yeah, because when we first talked about doing it, I was like, ah, uh, like, maybe i have like a couple things but i feel like we paused it like every two seconds so yeah yeah but no i had i had so much fun doing this and yeah thank you for inviting me into your world for a little bit um hope to do it again and um if not i'll see you at movie night